Everyone, this is Ross, and I have a real special tomato variety that I want to talk to you guys about today. Uh, this is a Gold Rush current tomato plant. And you can see I've ripped it out of the ground, but the variety name here is Gold Rush. And then the current is the type of tomato. And you can see here's a, a nice little sun gold for comparison because you can see right up against this your standard cherry type tomato next to a really small current tomato. And that's why they're called current tomatoes because they look so small. They form on these long trusses, these small berries. It's kind of like uh, having currants, I'm not gonna lie. And here's a interesting little view of a truss right here. It's a very vigorous variety, by the way, in terms of it just spreads, man. It just keeps going. It doesn't seem really phased in terms of energy um, by these little berries. It doesn't seem to really take up a lot of nutrients away from the plant. So it just keeps going, it just keeps spreading. And that's why I've ripped it out. It just really took up this whole area over here. I mean, the thing, you know, lengthwise right now is almost six foot tall or six foot long. And it also gets pretty tall too. I mean, the thing kind of builds on top of itself and probably reaches about three feet in, in, uh, at, at its max. So this whole area was just being taken over and I have figs here and figs there and figs down there that just were getting pretty shaded out and uh, as a result I didn't want to have to deal with it. You know, it's a lot to keep up with keeping this thing trimmed back. I mean, you could just let it go um, if you had a lot of space, but also the berries, man, they're just so many of them and they're so small that picking like even cherry tomatoes can become a challenge. Now what's interesting about this particular tomato is that you can pretty much grow it from seed true to type. So if I wanted to grow this next year, you can see there's random berries in here or random little current tomatoes. They'll come up, no problem. And they'll be pretty close to the original. Um, you can see sun gold here. And what I've been doing is that every year I grow some sun gold. And the first year I started out with a legitimate sun gold, but every year I've just been throwing these tomatoes on the ground. Some of them just end up on the ground over the, the length of the season. And I'll get volunteers that come up in this bed every single year. So it's not even a bad idea, I think, personally, to grow tomatoes from seed, you know, all varieties that are hybrids. And I know that's a big thing that people dispute and people um, kind of uh, blame the seed companies for. But I've found personally with Sun Gold, I've had some improved varieties of Sun Gold. I've had some worse varieties of Sun Gold because it's not exactly true. I mean, this one here, I would say pretty much splits almost as often as the original, uh, which is not a good characteristic. You can see it gets that opening there in the skin, which exposes that flesh. I have another one actually back behind it. And again, these are all volunteers. And this one I think is slightly larger and actually tastes a bit better. I had one last year, which I should have saved seeds directly from maybe, because it was huge sun gold. It was probably a noticeably bigger size than this. And it was way tastier than any sun gold I've had. This one I think is also pretty tasty, but you know, it's just interesting, I think, how this all works out. And this tomato here, you know, out of the recommendation of Amy Goldman, I decided to grow one of these current types and they're insane. I mean, this is a really something special. If you wanted to have food every year, all year, I mean, this is the tomato. It produces pretty early as well. And it's just coming in in huge, crazy numbers. This one's good for kids. Yeah, I can't really highly recommend it enough, even though I've ripped it out. It's just how this is all spaced and working out. I didn't realize this was going to be an issue. Plus, I like better airflow underneath the plants. We have a really humid environment here. And I think because of that, a lot of these are splitting on the plants. So what I'm going to do is actually come in here, harvest all these tomatoes. What I can do and what I probably will do is take all of these and pickle them and pickling tomatoes is so easy. We did a video on it last year. Um, not only did we do a video on it last year, but they, came, they just come out so great. <laughs> it's really an awesome little uh, thing you can do. You just stab the inside of the, the skin with a toothpick and then pickle them like you would any other pickle. I mean, just put in the right amount of vinegar. It's two parts water to one part vinegar. 
and then you can add in any kind of flavorings or spices that you want. On this side of the yard, these tomatoes have been here that got off to a better start. And I did start the, the current tomato, the Gold Rush, inside along with these here, but these have really been proving to be quite productive. Some of these I'm really excited, excuse me, to try. And this one here is a Black Beauty. We've got things like Pink Brandywine, Black Crim. I've actually had quite a few. It's not even August yet. And I've had really quite a few of these big beefsteak heirloom tomato types. It's been insane. Um, it really has to do with a lot of the location that these guys are in. And also, plain and simple, just the way I've started them indoors, getting them to a larger size. Here's one that I really want to show off. It's called Blonde Kopschkin, <laughs> or Ely, I think is another name for it. It puts out these huge trusses of tomatoes, guys. Absolutely massive. We're talking like 100, 150 flowers per truss. They all look like this. They don't split. They hang on the vine. It's just incredible. Um, this tomato plant is absolutely insane. Another one recommended by Amy Goldman. And then we have the, this one's actually been performing really well, which is the black cherry. And excuse the fact that it's so uh, kind of dark in the camera, but the black cherry man has been producing like nuts. So what I'm gonna do guys for you is I'm gonna come at you guys with some taste tests of some of these tomatoes. We're gonna compare. We're gonna also show off particular tomatoes that I may find interesting. Again, like the Gold Rush, before I rip it out, I really wanted to get this video to you guys to show you just all of its glory. But tomato season, man, it's in, it's here and it's been doing, they've been doing incredible. So I wanna thank everybody here for watching. We'll talk to you all soon. And uh, Ginzi says hello, guys. All right, take care. We'll see you for tomorrow's video.